Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Be for real, I am Brit. So I'm not even gonna play no games with y'all. We are gonna hop right into the video. Ain't no need for no intro. Y'all know what to do. If y'all are new, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell to turn those notifications on. But I'm gonna go ahead and get right to the video because I know what y'all came here to do. Okay, I know. So we are going to start off making our satin. If you watch my previous videos, it's similar to what I've done before. I am going to be using nutritional yeast to start out about three tablespoons. Be sure to click on the description box below because as always, I will have a full list of the ingredients in the description box below. So don't fret. You know, don't get worried. Don't be like, oh, she moving too fast. It's too quick. I can't keep up. It's in the description box. I got you. I got you. This is what I hear. I'm, I'm here for y'all. So as y'all can see, I am getting these seasonings right. We are seasoning every single portion of this vegan chicken. We are not coming to play. So I am adding the Worcestershire. This is such a difficult word for me to pronounce y'all. Like, you know how you all have, we all have those words. This is my word. So Worcestershire sauce, I'm adding two tablespoons, two tablespoons of some unsweetened cashew milk and about three fourths cup of some veggie broth. So I'm also gonna toss in two tablespoons of some soy sauce just to, you know, bring it all together. Get my whisk, flickly flick flick all over this little wet mixture that we have going on here so make sure you flick your wrist get everything well combined and as you guys know if you're familiar with making seitan we are going to be using our vital wheat gluten today i get mine off amazon i will have it linked below so for those who can't find it in the store can purchase it right on amazon they are the plug and they give you a four pound big just in case you're making plenty of it you know so we are adding in about one and a half cups of this Vital Wheat Gluten. This is what's going to bind everything together. I am using gloves because I just didn't feel like, you know, I feel like getting my hands dirty. Okay, don't judge me. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this all well combined. As you start to stir it in, it's going to start to thicken up and it's going to start to become dough-like. So this is why I recommend using your hands over using like a spoon or anything else. So as you can see, it's going to start to get thick and become really, really dough-like. So what I like to do is I like to break it in half and go ahead and knead each part for about 30 seconds. So you know, just show us some TLC right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and knead that for about 30 seconds. Make sure everything is well combined. So we are going to go ahead and skip that over to the stove. Here I have a pot of some boiling broth. I added in some onions, some spices. I'll have all that linked in the description box. But you see that I'm piecing off the satin here. It does not have to be perfect. And I would prefer you not make it perfect. Because, you know, it'll give you more of that chicken-like look. So I'm piecing it off. I'm making it about palm size. I'm adding it to some boiling broth i'm going to turn that down on a medium low cover that and let that cook for about 20 minutes all right class this is the part where you pay attention if you ain't been paying attention this entire video now is the time to pay attention because nine times out of ten you're probably gonna be feeding this to somebody that is not vegan and you need to show off okay all the seasonings you feel like that's gonna make for a perfect spectacular unforgettable breading is what needs to go in this flour okay i cannot stress this enough so i am putting everything that i feel like is going to be you know it's going you know show off everything is going in this drill everything so make sure you season this extremely well i will have exact measurements in the description box if you would like to use mine feel free if you have your own breading that you love use that it's your world so i'm just going to go ahead and do a nice stir on that to get everything well combined here i'm making our wet mixture where i'm just using some hot sauce we're going to be using some unsweetened cashew milk and i'm also going to be placing in some dijon mustard you know just give our chicken a nice kick and this is for my folks that like spicy food. So keep in mind, this is a spicy chicken sandwich. 
but are we not moving right along though like this is really quick it, it i'm telling you once you get the hang of it it is really quick so by this time our satan is pretty much finished i'm just going to put it on a paper towel line pen you can use a dish towel that's perfectly fine and here i'm just pressing out the excess liquid listen to me clearly it is nothing worse than some chicken that's not chicken that when you bite into that chicken is wet okay that is a no no that is an absolutely not okay so please heed my words when i say make sure you press out that excess of liquid it will save you a world of hurt so for the culture, I am going to be deep frying this vegan chicken. I have my station set up, wet, dry, seitan, you know, got everything together. So I'm going to be taking our seitan here. I'm going to be placing it in the hot sauce mixture first. Then I'm going to go ahead and throw it into our flour. Then I'm going to toss it back into our hot sauce mix. You know, we need to double dip today to ensure the crispiness of this chicken, okay? So be sure to double batter your seitan. Y'all, don't kill me, but some way, somehow, the video of me actually frying the seitan got lost in the sauce. And I really apologize because it was something to see. But here we're just going to get our sandwich assembled. I'm using the Homestyle Ranch by Daya. Putting a dollop on both of the bread slices here. I'm going to place some pickles on as well. If you know me, you know I would have loaded this up with lettuce, tomato, and all that. But we're going to keep it simple today. And Lord have mercy. Somebody come look at this. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing right now? Like, do y'all see what's happening here? Like, Popeye's who? Chick-fil-A who? Wendy's, I'm throwing y'all in there too. Wendy's who? But here I'm just adding in some sriracha because y'all know I like a little extra spice. And that is it, y'all. This is complete this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you tried that out, let me know how you liked it. But as always, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video.